Hey guys, so one of my absolute favorite fashion trends of 2016 are patched bomber jackets. I'm gonna show you how I customized my own bomber jacket with really fun, unique patches, as well as how I created this DIY personalized varsity letterman patch for the back of the jacket using super affordable materials. And I just love the vintage vibe that it gave the jacket. I'm so happy with the way all of it came together and it was super easy to do as well. So if you wanna see how I created mine, then let's go ahead and roll back time and see how I did it. So starting off with the bomber jacket, I got mine from Forever 21 for the grand total of, drum roll please, $27. So I got a pretty good deal on this jacket and I was really happy with the quality. I also really love the color of the jacket. It's not your typical rich army green. It's more of like a muted green with kind of a gray tinge to it, which I just thought was really chic. Moving on to patches, I just picked out a fun variety of patches that I happen to really like, and I'll be sure to link all the Etsy sellers where I purchased them from down below. So I just got a fun variety of colors and shapes, and of course I had to represent my hometown. And I also wanted to play with texture, which is why I also picked up these sequins patches, including this little lipstick one, which I mean, how adorable is that? I can't even. So once I was happy with the variety of patches I had, I went ahead and started to place them on the jacket to see how I wanted them to lay. And this was a little bit of a trial and error process for me. I would pin them or tape the patches on, put the jacket on and take a look at the mirror just to see where the patches were laying when the jacket is actually on my body. Because sometimes when you have a fabric flat like this, things will look a little bit different when you have it actually on your body. So I went ahead and just kind of tweaked it here and there. And then once I was finally happy with the placement, I went ahead and started to adhere all the patches on. And for this, I did just use old fashioned fabric glue. Initially, I did go in with an iron and try to heat press the patches onto the jacket, which is traditionally how you're supposed to apply these patches. But I noticed that when I used that method, the heat from the iron was actually starting to melt the fabric a little bit, which obviously I didn't wanna do. So I went ahead and just tried to make it work anyways with some fabric glue. And then later on off camera, I just used some translucent thread to really secure the edges of the patches onto the fabric and make sure everything stayed in place. So while the patches dried, I went ahead and started on the letters that I wanted on the back of the jacket, which brings us to the cheapest and easiest stenciling method of life. I pretty much just use PicMonkey, which I'm sure a lot of you already know is a free online editing tool. And I found this really pretty cursive Letterman style font that I felt was perfect for the back of the jacket. It has that perfect like vintage type of look to it. I just enlarged it to the size that I wanted and went straight in and traced. So doesn't get easier than that, folks. For the construction of the letters, I started off with terry cloth. And terry cloth is what's really gonna give the letters that authentic varsity look. I got mine in the form of simple washcloths from Walmart. I think I got mine for maybe a dollar something each, so really affordable. And if you can't find what you're looking for in your local fabric store, definitely just poke around Marshalls or Target or Walmart, because you never know what you might find in the bathroom section. Sometimes they have pretty unique shades. And for the border of the letters, I went with felt and I chose more of this creamy off-white color than say like a stark white, just to stay true to the vintage vibe I was going for. If you want, you can create an extra border just with a different color felt. I wanted to keep mine pretty simple, so I just stuck with the two shades. And then finally, I just got some clear thread, some fabric glue, and a good pair of scissors. So I went ahead and just applied the stencil that I cut out earlier directly onto the terry cloth. And you can see at first I was taping the letters on as they would read across the jacket, but I really don't recommend doing it that way. Flip all the letters instead because the tape that you're seeing on the terry cloth, when you do take it off, it does have a way of taking a little bit of the terry cloth off along with it, which you really don't want if that's the side that's gonna be facing the outside of the jacket. So you'll see moving forward, I actually started to flip the letters so that I didn't have that problem. 
Once the letters were cut out, I went ahead and just started to kind of shape and pat down any rough edges that I saw. And I actually used a little bit of hairspray for the areas where it was fraying a bit and kind of went in and closely trimmed those areas. Just like you would eyebrow gel to your eyebrows to keep them in place, I kind of did the same thing with hairspray just to kind of keep all the frayed edges from getting too crazy. The terry cloth material is very fragile, so you want to take your time, and I did end up using a mixture of the regular fabric glue as well as a spray adhesive just because I felt like it gave me a little bit more of an even stick that way. Then I went in and just started to cut around the letters, creating a really nice thin even border. I wasn't really trying to go for like super smooth, perfect lines. Again, I did like it to look just a little bit more lived in. My goal was really just to create as even as a border as possible. And if you're wondering what inspired me to use the phrase be kind, it really was just because I felt like it was a really short and sweet and yet very important message that we can all be reminded of here and there, not only to be kind to one another, but also just to be kind to ourselves. I feel like that's a message that I feel very strongly about. So that's why I went with the phrase be kind. And here is the finished product. Again, I'm really happy with the way the entire jacket came together. If you guys do like these DIY types of videos, please be sure to like and subscribe so that I know. And if you end up doing your own DIY bomber or jean jacket, I would love if you would tag me at Pretty in Pros either on Instagram or Twitter so that I can see your creations as well. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.